Greetings to the awesome, powerful, mighty <clears throat> name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I just have this prophetic, uh, uh, how can I say, word that God gave me that I just like to share, Amen, um, with you concerning certain things that's happening in the realm of the spirit. There's a lot of things that's been suspended, and it is not just because there's a spirit of delay. It is not delay. <clears throat> it is certain things that are withheld from God in many ministries and people's lives. And it is important for the people of God to understand the timing of God in the season. The Bible says the sons of Issachar knew the timing of God and knew what Israel ought to do, which means they had understanding of the times. They could discern the time. They could discern the season, but they also knew what is supposed to be done. And the reason why God shared with me, he says the reason why there's certain uh, suspensions where certain things are held back, amen, from being released, amen, certain resources are held back, is because we don't know what to do in the season we are in. There are many people, prophetically, you can discern the season you are in, but you do not know what to do, amen. You do not know. The Bible says the sons of Issachar knew what Israel ought to do. It's important for you to understand the timing and also the act, the administration, amen, the assignment, what you're supposed to do, the operation, the function, amen. But I'm sharing this word with you in the book of Zechariah chapter 8. This is the season that we're in. Uh, the Lord says again, the word of the Lord came, saying, thus says the Lord, I am zealous for Zion with a great zeal, with great fervor. I am zealous for, this says the Lord, I will return to Zion and dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. Jerusalem shall be called the city of truth. The mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Amen. So this is what God is sharing in the, the season when I was praying and God began to reveal certain things to me. That there's going to come a restoration, amen, of strong signs and wonders to the body of Christ. There's going to be a restoration, amen, because of um, certain things that need to take place. Because the nations, if you go and do history, uh, history check upon ministry and evangelism, you understand that. Um, during the Voice of Healing revival, um, you know, a lot of men of God went into certain cities and they could not, not access the cities if there was not a demonstration of the power of God. And God is moving certain people, my, my kingdom-minded men and women of God, amen, to operate and function. And some of you have been feeling a frustration. You've been feeling, hallelujah, this edginess, this irritation, in your spirit, because God is busy preparing the body of Christ, amen, for move, but it's going to be authentic, and it's going to be powerful, it's going to be real, and the world will not be able to deny it, amen, because we have a lot of gimmicks out there, people pretending to do miracles, and they are not actually doing miracles, and this time around, what's going to happen, people that um, have been experiencing a certain level of frustration in their spirit, whenever they pray, they feel there's more coming, there's more, there's more, and this is the season that we are in, the Bible Bible is describing Issachar as people that understood the times and the seasons, but they could also understand and interpret the times and interpret what needs to be done. In other words, they knew that when the season comes, this is what's required. And this is the time where you have to pray for wisdom. Say, Lord God, I, you have revealed the season I'm in, but show me what I need to do. Show me what I'm capable of. Show me what you have called me to be and do in the season that I'm in. It is time for the church to come to that place where you discern what you're supposed to do, because we're in a season of apostolic grace, we're in a season of a move of God in the earth that many people will not understand, and some people will not embrace it, because a religious mindset will always try to hijack a move of God, a religious mindset will always try to take over, or try to stifle, or try to stop, but this is the season that God is going to do some magnificent, marvelous things. And I want to speak specifically also right now to those, amen, with assignments in certain regions. There are certain regions that have been close to your ministry. It has been close to what God calls you to be and do in that place. But the Lord says this is the season. This is the time where he's going to open up doors. This is the season he's going to open up doors. He's going to cause the, a breakthrough. There's going to be a flood of blessings. There's going to be a flood of resources. There's going to be a flood of supernatural provision. Amen, coming for the assignment requires... <clears throat> 
Hear me now. The assignment requires supernatural intervention. The assignment requires supernatural a supernatural move of God in the season. And I'm here to tell you, there are many of you, you waited for men that made promises that said they're going to do this or going to do that. They, they said they're going to support you and stand with you. Let me tell you something. If God called you, God is, hallelujah, the ability to sustain you wherever he calls you to go. If God gives you the assignment, he will sustain you. He will open up doors. No way and formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue standing up against you in judgment shall be condemned. The Bible says what you bind on earth is bound in heaven and what you loose on earth is loose in heaven. Certain things that's coming against you is just a test of your authority, test of what kind of faith you have. And it's time for us to come to the place where you say, God, I am submitted. I'm completely surrendered to your plan. I'm completely surrendered to your purpose and to what you desire of me. And this is the season that we're in. God is going to open up some magnificent doors in the season because because, hallelujah, the favor of God is about to be manifested. It is a season of apostolic grace, and apostolic grace speaks of, you know, the sent one, grace, amen, to start doing what God has called you to do, amen. And I pray right now over you and what God calls you to do, that you will not drop the mantle, that you will not allow people to stop you from doing what God calls you to do. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in this world. Keep the faith and keep on believing.